guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna to be showing you how I straighten my hair I have really curly hair so if you guys want to see how I get my hair really straight using a straightener and you guys like what you see then keep on watching and I hope you enjoy the video remember like it's been years since I've straightened my hair so bear with me I'm gonna show you guys how I used to straighten my hair so what you're gonna need obviously is a hair straightener I don't use a blow dryer I don't know how to use a blow dryer to straighten my hair I've never used it I think I've tried a long time ago when I used to straighten my hair but I don't know it didn't work for me so I'm just gonna use a classic straightener you're gonna need a brush I use a brush to kind of keep brushing my hair um, as I'm straightening it like you know to make sure like you don't have knots in your hair you don't want to straighten knots because then you're gonna see it when like it's not gonna be you know what I'm saying like it's not gonna be all straight so yeah you need a little brush and then I have these hair clips I couldn't find those old hair clips that are like kind of this long or something and they they're all closed like these are my curly hair hair clips um, I've ordered them on Amazon I would use them to give me volume but I don't use them anymore but these are the only ones I have right now so what you want to do you want to how okay this is how I used to straighten my hair um I used to straighten my hair with just clean hair so my hair I washed it and everything and um it has no oils in it nothing and I know some people use oils that protect your hair or something but I feel like it, that makes it worse I don't know how I don't know why it just reminds me like like when you're cooking your food like on a pan and stuff you put oil like I don't I think it just makes it worse I don't know this is my my natural hair just dry no product in it it's been years since I've straightened my hair so it's kind of like crazy that I'm doing this but you know what I've been on a healthy hair journey for years I think it's been about five years already so my hair is good it's not a big deal if you do it once in a while I don't like to be too close-minded I feel like I I'm like I have to pick a side like either I'm 100% like curly or like I love my curls and everything but I feel like I know and I love healthy hair obviously that's why I take care of my hair so much but I don't want to feel like forced like you have to pick a side you cannot be like on a healthy hair journey healthy curly hair journey and straighten your hair or use heat like you need to either be on that journey or you know be on the burn burning hair journey or something whatever I don't want to feel like that like you gotta like it's you gotta choose I feel like I mean obviously yeah it's important to take care of your hair so yes you need to take care of your hair so but I think like if your hair is healthy and you do take care of it I don't think it's a big deal what like every so often not like all the time because you don't want to like fry your hair and everything if you hear noises in the background again i think you guys have heard it in my other videos it's my little girl she's in the background she's playing with her toys like i mean what can i do i mean do it when she record when she's sleeping yeah that's a good idea but i've been so busy and i really want to make like i've been wanting to make this video so she's awake i'm awake and why not so Okay, so again, I don't have oils. If you believe to use those oils that help your hair or something. I do have an oil. It's like a Diva Curl Serum. Um, like this oil. I was thinking of maybe trying it. Because I'm not used to that. But then again, I haven't straightened my hair in years. So maybe it might work different or something. But I'm I'm just going to show you guys how I used to straighten my hair. Why is my eye itching? I'm just going to get that thin layer of hair that I just separated and just straighten it some people don't like to go from the root like from close like really close to your roots because they don't really care they just kind of as long as the rest of the hair is and I mean it's I don't think I don't think that's a big deal either because the bottom of your hair is kind of gonna hide that but I don't know like for me I just if I'm gonna strain it I'm gonna strain it all so I'm gonna try to strain as closest to the roots as possible and yeah that's just what I do I just get a really small amount of hair so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side I don't have knots I didn't brush this side but I don't really have any knots. I don't feel like I need to brush it.
Okay, so you want to you want to get like little amounts of your hair when you're straightening it. You don't want to get a thick layer of your hair because um, you want it to come out as straight as possible. And if you get too much hair, you're just gonna be there longer um, compared to like if you just get a smaller amount, you just strain it a lot better. Does that make any sense? Um, you know, the thicker the thicker amount of hair, the more amount of hair you have, the harder it is to straighten it all. So that's why I do little like section by sections because it's it just makes it a lot easier and then it makes my hair um, a lot more straight. Alright guys, so I am officially done straightening my hair. That took me quite some time, um, but yeah, this is my hair straight. I have not straightened my hair in forever, so it took me a while. I don't know if it's because I felt like I was slow, if it was a strainer. I'm pretty sure it was a strainer. If you have like a really old straightener and you have like really curly hair and you really, really want like that nice straight hair, I really recommend a good straightener so i recommend investing in a really good straightener this a really old one is not gonna work like mm -mm. my hair is a lot healthier than it was years ago and it to be honest like i didn't like the way it left my ends like it felt like it wasn't straining my ends right like all like half were like right here down it took me a long time just to get it a uh, decent straight but uh i had to add a serum so I use the Diva Curl Miracles Ultimate Shine Shine Serum. It's just this little bottle that I have with my curly hair products and I found it and I'm like, oh, let me try that because my hair is looking a little dull. So I went ahead and added that, but yes. Yeah, so mm -mm, you don't want an old straightener. You want a new and good straightener. So I really recommend investing in a good straightener. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.